In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We gather this day to give thanks to God for the very lives of Kelly and Wesley and to ask for God's blessings upon the love that they share. So let us remember how God is the source of all love and of all life, and let us ask for his saving help. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these your servants, Wesley and Kelly, that coming before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please let us now be seated as we hear the first reading from the Word of God. I shall show you a still more excellent way. 
If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I am, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I have gained nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially, and we know pro prophecy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became mature, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, then I shall know more fully as I am fully known. In the end, there are three things which last. Faith, hope, and love. And in grace to peace is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. Jesus said at the beginning of creation, God made man, made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and the two shall become as one. They are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, let no one separate what God has joined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I have three questions to ask you, and if you answer them correctly, this wedding will continue. <laughs> Number one, when Wesley was baptized, Wesley Allen at First United Methodist Church in Star City, Arkansas, were any of you there? If so, raise your hand. Okay. When Kelly was baptized, Kelly Marie at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton in Bear, Delaware, were any of you there? You're doing well, and this is the clincher. For those of you who were at Wesley's and Kelly's baptisms when they were children, at that time that they were being baptized, did you ever think that they would grow up and get married in Key West, Florida? No, <laughs> your life is an adventure. And Kelly and Wesley have invited us here this day not to say that the adventure of their life is ending in marriage, but rather the adventure as an advent that began in baptism will deepen and continue in marriage. When you realize the depth of your relationship and the calling that you had, you wanted to make sure that you were able to love as you are called and as you desire. Therefore, you've gathered us here this day that you may make a covenant with each other in much the same way as the covenant that God made with us in Jesus Christ, for it has the exact same qualities. It's based on hope, full of trust, indissoluble, 
creative of new life, prophetic in the sense of calling forth life, always forgiving, but above all, it is faithful. God has never, ever turned his back on us. In this day you promise, come what may, good times, bad times, sickness, or health, you will be there for and with each other all the days of your life. Now that is a bold proclamation. <laughs> but you make it with the most humble of hearts. As good as you are, and you are. As intelligent as you are, and truly you are. Still you know you need God's help to love as you are called and to live as you desire. Kelly and Wesley, May you always kneel before God and take him in, in Jesus Christ, in word and sacrament. And may you have the courage to proclaim to the whole world, from here to Jacksonville, to Delaware, to Arkansas, and in your case, China and India, mm -hmm. <laughs> that your love and your life is of God. Mm -hmm. Kelly and Wesley, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's community here gathered. Christ abundantly blesses your love. He has already consecrated you both in baptism and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties and responsibilities of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church here gathered, I ask you to state your intentions. Wesley and Kelly, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. yes. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife all the days of your life? Yes. yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, face each other and declare your consent before God and his church. I'll speak low, you speak loud, and you go first. Okay. I, Wesley. I, Wesley. Take you, Kelly. Take you, Kelly. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad times. In good times and in bad times. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Kelly. I, Kelly. Take you, Wesley. Take you, Wesley. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad times. In good times and in bad times. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined together, let no one divide. Amen. It's all over now. Let me use this. That's a cool ring here. May the Lord bless these rings, which you give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. As God has made a covenant with us, so too do you. And may these rings symbolize this covenant. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Put that on her left hand. And you may say, Kelly. Kelly. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign. As a sign. Of my love. Of my love. And my fidelity. And my fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit always helps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to put this on his left hand? Mm -hmm. And you may say, Wesley. Wesley. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign. As a sign. Of my love. As of my love. And my fidelity. And my fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now if you like to kiss each other, you're more than welcome to. Let me 
<laughs> Filled with joy and thanksgiving, let us all stand and let us pray. We pray for Kelly and Wesley that they may always have the faith to ask for God's help in their lives and the courage to proclaim that faith to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all married couples who have gathered here this day that by the witnessing of these vows, they may be inspired to renew their covenants of love and fidelity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have gathered here this day, that the celebration may be wondrous in Key West and your travels home safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In trusting and with joy that we are God's children, let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on Lord, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I ask now if you, Wesley and Kelly, would kneel for one moment as we call forth God's blessings upon you. Holy Father, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life, we humbly pray to you this day for Kelly and for Wesley. May the fullness of your blessings come upon them that together they may rejoice in your gift of married love. Lord God, may they both praise you when they are happy and turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witnesses in the world. And may they reach old age in the company of their family and friends and come at last to your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and give you every grace you need. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Father. Congratulations. Thank you.